Hey everyone, welcome to the Selene Hurley Show. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize to my fans. Um, there was a bit of my fans that were really upset with me because I did not make the videos they requested. And I am truly and sorry, apologize, I am sorry that I didn't. But if I did have the means to do it, then I would have. Um, but I do sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. I will make those videos for you guys, but... I will make this one first. So, um, now that I'm back, <laughs> I am here to acknowledge everyone about things that I have come across. Um, the better way to say it is things that I've learned in the past month. Let me get comfortable. <laughs> In the past month, I have learned a lot of lessons, and um, since I have a new perspective in life, as of a couple months ago, I wanted to share with people how I felt about these changes and what I've learned. So, so um, furthermore. This is going to be my video on me. Okay, so there is a reason why those photos came up right after the introduction um and it has to do a lot with what I've learned so um I'm just gonna jump into it I've learned not to worry and I've noticed that a lot of people worry and it's normal to worry don't think you're absolutely <laughs> weird or because worry it's natural it's human nature <laughs> um but when you you really sit down and think about it what happens right after you worry if you think about it and you analyze it it's what I've done I've analyzed everything and I was drawn to this question for in the beginning of this cycle that I went through um why worry that was the question why worry then I analyzed it into sections with what happens when you worry you worry you drive yourself insane trying to figure out things and you worry about things you can't change. Simple things as, I can't make it to school on time. Like, oh my gosh, like, you're already late. Say, you're already late to school. And, but you're badgering the bus driver or you're talking in your head or just, I wish this bus would hurry up or, oh, I wish this cab driver would drive faster. And they're like, no, I have to be there on time. And But at the same time, you can't change anything. So why worry about it? You're going to be late. You're already late. You're going to be late. You can't change anything. So just go to school late. Don't worry about it. Just blow it out and just, I'm going to be late. Accept it. And acceptance is a very hard thing to learn is accept how to accept something and to accept that you're going to be late is just maybe too much for someone to handle you know or that you worry about oh my kids is sick well kids get sick I'm not saying that your kids not dying I'm saying kids get sick it happens but if you analyze it once again your kid gets sick you give them Tylenol, all this happens, they throw up, blah, blah, blah. You clean it up, and 
they get better. You take them to make a doctor's appointment, but if you're stressing, oh my god, oh my god, the fever's high, we have to take them to the hospital, you're not helping yourself. You actually are not good for yourself. You're a very bad thing for yourself, and I had to learn that for myself, that I was hurting myself, just because I kept worrying about every little thing. I could have killed myself, and that's an honest fact. Because I had a brain hemorrhage. And um, I'm pretty young. So that tells you how much of a nervous wreck I used to be. And now I'm not. I'm more um, calm. I'm more peaceful. I want to say not peaceful. I'm just more... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? I, I'm different. <laughs> I'm different now. I I like who I am now. And I've realized a lot of things that used to matter don't. Because you think about it and once you analyze, it's like, wow, that was pretty dumb. I was pretty dumb. I can accept that. So... After you worry and you break your head and everything, everything works out. Everything just works out for you in the end, right or wrong. Yes, you worry, you stress, and then it works out for you. But if you eliminate the worry and the stress and just go through it, it still works out for you. So... <laughs> when I found out about this no worry everything was starting to go smoothly but karma isn't my best friend of course so she decided to be a smart aleck and put me through no worry we're going to put you through the test because we're going to put you through the worry of your life and indeed it happened Everything happened at once. So I'm not going to sit here and pour out my problems of my life because it's none of anyone's business of what I just went through. I will just sit here and tell you all the lessons that I learned through everything that I went through. Because it's no one's business of what I went through. Now, what you can learn from and benefit from are the lessons that I've learned. So, furthermore, I um, like to put lesson one as worry. Don't worry. Everything will just work out. Two. Lesson two. Just Okay, lesson two is a little bit more of a heavier subject. <laughs> you can't depend on anyone but yourself. Not even in marriage, not even if you're a child of your mother and father. You can only depend on yourself. Don't depend on your family. Don't depend on your spouse. Don't depend on your friends because they're not always going to be there to help you with a lending hand. There's going to be a time where you have to depend on yourself. And that's the whole purpose of life is to learn from every mistake and get out on your own. I mean, that's what I always thought it should be, right? But then don't get stuck on what should be and shouldn't be because... That's how you get stuck, too. So, you open your mind, right? And stop thinking that everyone owes anyone anything. We don't owe anyone anything. And they don't owe us anything. The only thing we have to do is owe ourselves what we want. The choices that we make will be led for the consequences of our future. And... We can't 
kind of sit there and complain, because a lot of us do, including I have done it. We sit there and complain and see how bad our lives are. But all the choices that you made, even if it's like spending a little bit more than you should have, or you know you shouldn't have spent that before you had to pay this bill, or little little things like as simple as, oh, I shouldn't have said that before I, I should have thought about that. Yeah, it really hurts. Someone's feeling. You can't. Okay, just you can't do that. You have to just depend on yourself. The way that I'm raising my child, my daughter, I am teaching her morals, I am teaching her values, and independence. Because no one needs to depend on anyone. Everyone should be solely independent. Because if you think about it, once everyone in your life is gone, including no friends, if you were here stuck on your own, how can you depend on anything on yourself? And then you have no one to blame but yourself. And I see a whole bunch of people in this community leeching off the government when the government is the one that's enclosing us to become codependent on them. And how can you complain? Get out of the system and make a life. A lot of uh, the dependence is lesson number two. Don't ever depend on anyone. You can depend on yourself. You can actually, instead of sitting down and doing nothing and wondering why your life sucks. You can't get money for anything else but a pack of cigarettes. You can save up that much money. You can. It just surprises me how much people just waste it. You waste your life. And I've wasted some of my life, and it really pisses me off because I'm like, damn, I really screwed myself over. I'm like, huh, thanks me, you know, but... That's lesson two. <laughs> Learn how to depend on yourself. Um, my daughter sometimes, you know, mommy put my shoes on. No, you know how to do it yourself. You do it. Plain and simple. You know how to walk. I'm not going to carry you. Some people say I'm cold hearted, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to teach my daughter that I'm going to carry her through everything. I will be right there next to her, but I will not carry her because everybody, everyone needs to learn how to carry their own cross. I am sorry to say that, but that is true. No one has to fight your battles with you or for you. You have to fight them there yourself because the lesson is for you, not for the person next to you, not for your parents. It's for you to learn, not for anyone to help you with. You got to learn it. Make a life for yourself. Be proud of yourself. Don't waste your life on a couch watching TV, smoking cigarettes, and drinking beer every night. Don't do that. If that's life every day for you and going to party and being with friends, what the hell is life then? Is that what life is that what your life is about? What about your kids? If you have any? What what about making a life for yourself? What about getting a job, making money? Oh, I can't because I have a felony. So what? Get it off of you. Get it expunged. Not every freaking job does not take felonies. You can get some job, even if it's a job. You can't be picky. If what if you can only get a job as a busboy, do it. Save up as much. It's a job. Even if you have to do it under the table, like go on the side to most most some neighbors' lawns or something. You know, make some kind of money. Uh, you learn how to hustle. You know, and I'm not talking about going and selling a dime bag or two. Yeah, I'm on YouTube and I'm saying that I'm not. Why sell drugs? I'm sorry. It's not smart because you're, especially if you have kids, like, you're going to get caught up. You're going to get locked up. It's the same story over and over again, so why do it? And, um, it just, just depend on yourself before this gets out of hand. All right, uh, lesson three. Lesson three. Okay, so lesson three has to do with... Being prepared for the unexpected and not getting comfortable. Don't get too comfortable that you don't see something and something blind blind side you that you just you're not prepared. Not uh, you have to always prepare, whether 
preparing, actually, let's, let's start with that, preparing to do that, to um, prepare for the unexpected, goes in steps. Prepare one, prepare for financially, because financially, you need to have a savings account. With that comes responsibility. Only buy what you need, and don't buy what you want. I mean, of course, if you have the extra money left over, like, see, that's that's the point. You shouldn't even have left money left over. I'm saying every month, if you have a hundred dollars, let's say out of after all your bills are paid, if you have, say. Six hundred dollars left over. Divide that by two. Put three hundred dollars in savings and three hundred and dollars for things you need and want. First, spend it on the things that you need. Hygiene is very important. And I don't mean need like you don't need cigarettes. That's not a necessity. You don't need to buy alcohol. That's not a necessity either. That's a want. So when you buy things that you need, only buy things that you need with that money. Medicine. After you get the $300, separate that. <laughs> Divide that by two. 150 for things that I need and 150 for things that I want. See, I don't spend things on things. I don't spend my money, my extra cash that's for spending for me on me at all. I always save Twenty in my purse for things, emergencies. You know, it being financially prepared is very important. You don't know when anything will happen, and you're going to need that extra cash for a couple of hotel nights, or even if it's just for to fix something in your house. Like, the heat is broken in your house. You have to fix it. That's a priority. Especially when you have kids. Or you don't have no food. That's a priority. You need a down payment in the car. Something, you know. But always be financially prepared first. <clears throat> and be responsible with your needs and wants. And be truthful with yourself. Of course, a lot of people won't do it. Because they're selfish. And majority of people today are very selfish. They're, rarely you'll find anyone that actually doesn't think about themselves or that anyone owes them anything. But that's, that's people. Can't change them. Just educate them, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, lesson four. I would say focus on the path that you're on and don't let anyone take you off that focus because when you start to be unfocused like oh I gotta help this person and then you get off your little route and you're just like I gotta help him with his car or go on you go again chug a lug a lug again you know and then you look on your left and they're like oh this person needs help let me help them but then you lose your focus on what you're doing because now it's become a community project and you're helping every fucking buddy and then you're just like <gasps> you know <clears throat> what was my goal again? right so <clears throat> and sometimes you might even forget about your family and like you might think they're a priority in your mind but and, and, they, might, and they might be or they are but at the same time, you gotta weigh your options. I guess you gotta grow up. I guess I just got an epiphany and I had to grow up, you know, because it used to be about having friends, finding real friends. And I have friends, and they're my best friends that I have, they're only the ones I can count on my finger, you know, and. <sighs> I don't care for friends no more. I care for the ones, my five-fingered friends, <laughs> you know, I only have five best friends that I can actually count on, but I only care for them 
on the side and everyone else can fall it's not my problem why should I care sorry to sound cold hearted but why should I when I was going through my troubles no one cared I had to figure it out on my own so everyone else has to do the same figure it out on your own I can't stop to help you that's obviously something you weren't prepared for you didn't prepare but I helped you yeah no don't this, okay you you need to you need to focus on your family if you have made a family if not you have to focus on yourself and do it in the most humble way I'm not saying be cold hearted like uh, no that's your problem go ahead no I'm talking about don't change your life for people don't don't do that you can help people but you can't like how do I explain this you can help people just not having a hard time putting this in words and I mean it sounds great in my head trust me like I understand it I just I can't explain it um, <clears throat> um I help people but don't lose your focus and don't help people too much that they become codependent on you give them a, like give them a hand but don't give them a freaking boost you know what I mean? Like, help them enough that you know that's all they need. Like, don't go all out of your way knowing that they're capable of doing it themselves. You know what I mean? Don't be wholly nice. Because <laughs> it won't benefit you in the long run. Lesson five. Well, lesson five is take time out of your day for yourself even if it's 20 minutes out of a day take those 20 minutes of those day of that of that day just take it and do that with me just whoo and don't think about anything and just start to think one by one what do I have one, in my perspective, this is what I'm saying. One, I have a loving husband. Two, I have a beautiful, smart, intelligent, very playful daughter. Three, I have a smart brain and I can figure this out. I have multiple talents. I need to put them into use. So, all that... <laughs> will make you feel better and you don't need people to make you feel better about yourself you can make yourself feel better about yourself you need to because nobody else is going to like no one's going to care about your family go to social services see if who cares <laughs> they don't they do it for the bread I mean see if somebody cares they're not that's why you're there to care, to to be there. So, yeah, life hit me. Actually, life has smacked me around so much, and I'm happy it did because I needed that wake up call. I totally needed that wake up call because without it, believe it or not, I was living a great life. Yeah, I, I was a nervous wreck, but. At the same time, I put myself in situations where weren't needed. Like, I didn't need certain people in my life. I didn't need, I didn't need a lot of things that I put myself through. And because I've learned these lessons, They've helped me. So if I can take these lessons and put them on here and help someone with them, then hell yeah, I'm going to do it. 
doesn't change the fact that who I am. Yeah, I might be a little bit different, but you know what? I don't consider it a little bit different. I think I'm just a little bit smarter. And if I can help people in this community become smarter because people are being stupid and dumb, I will go, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, this has been Selene Hurley. In the next couple of videos, will be more about DIYs and about touring my new home. Yes, <laughs> I bought a house. So, thank you, thank you. Anyways, and I, I'm going to decor my whole house, and it's all going to be all pretty and decorative, and everyone's going to help me. Yay! Anyways, I'm going to post all of this on YouTube. There's going to be cooking videos. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And there's going to be workout videos. Yay! I'm going to be working out because, as anyone can see, I've been losing weight. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm dumb. Anyhow, but look, I've been losing weight, so I'm going to teach everyone my, um, my routines. Um, I'm going to show everyone everything that I know because someone needs to tell you. Someone needs to tell you. Someone. Anyways, um, this has been Selene Hurley. And I'm leaving you with a tune. Bye. Yeah. Well, I love all of. I love everyone. I love my fans. Um. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And I hope it helps someone. There will be more conversations with me and you and anyone in this crowd. So, 